Samsung, proud sponsor of Techbusters. Well, for those of you who enjoy having a flutter in the casino or enjoy playing these machines that you find in pubs, wouldn't it feel more comfortable that you knew that this machine wasn't rigged or that the taxes were being paid properly? Well, they do this kind of thing today. And inside this machine is special technology that monitors the machine to keep it on the straight and narrow. And this is what Zonke Monitoring Systems does. They keep the technology inside these machines and keep the operators on the straight. Let's find out more about what this kind of technology does in the industry. The South African National Gambling Act requires that all establishments with limited payout machines, including pubs and clubs, are required to be connected to a central electronic monitoring system. This system obtains accurate and timely information about the machine, from the amount of money gambled on it to machine faults or tampering. Zonke Monitoring Systems is a National Gambling Board appointed operator of the system and to date monitors more than 8,000 machines across the country. Jose Malope, you are the CEO of Zonke Monitoring Systems. So what kind of machines are we talking about? Slot machines, gambling machines, it's those computer electronic machines. They are gambling machines, similar to the casinos, except they've got uh, limited payouts, they've got uh, limited uh, bets. Why is it necessary to monitor these machines? Well, there's a number of reasons why we monitor them. Uh, the first one is uh, to ensure that the government gets their cut which is uh, VAT as well as gambling, ta gambling taxes for the provinces. And uh, the other one is to protect the members of the public because all these games that are in these pubs and taverns have to have been tested and certified by the national re uh, regulators as compulsory specifications. So people should be winning more than what they're currently winning? Is this why you're monitoring them? Those machines normally have a return to play a percentage of uh, in excess of 80%. So more, more than 80% of the money that gets wagered eventually gets back to the punter. 80%? As much as that, I've never known anyone to win more than 80% on a casino. More like you start with 100 and you leave with 10. It doesn't work that way. It's basically <laughs> over a period. I mean, <laughs> one enough. loses, the other one wins. So this is a typical machine that is kind of monitored in these pubs. Daniel Colocato is a, he's a quality assurance officer. Now, Daniel, Take us through what you guys are monitoring in a machine like this. Before, as you know, we used to have uh, where you put notes. Yes. Um, so we just moved away from that system. We have uh, the cutlass option, uh -huh. whereby you just load money onto it. Okay. Um, in this case, this bracket normally will be um, on top. Okay. What about inside? What's inside here? I want to see what you guys are monitoring inside, Daniel. Wait. Inside, what we have is um, we've got a connection which is it acts as a, it's a converter board, yeah. which just changes the languages between um, the machines to communicate um, with the cutlass uh, okay. option. That little computer over there talks to the main server and it tells the server what the machine is doing and how many payouts it's made, etc., etc. Simple as that. The control of it is. All right, now tell me something. Can we tell me when this machine is going to pay out next? No, we can't. It's all oh, come on, Daniel. <laughs> come on, Daniel. <laughs> Amazing technology, how does it actually all work? Well, first we have a, a central uh, application, you know, that's hosted with uh, internet solutions at the data center. And uh, that communicates to what we call a site server or site data logger, uh, which is at site. And that site data logger communicates real time with the machines. It logs each and every event, starting from uh, a simple door open uh, to a bet or a win. And at the end of the day, that information gets communicated to the central server. And from the central server, the regulators, the operators, and ourselves can access relevant information. So you've got serious computing power happening in the background to make all of this work. We do. We actually have a primary site here in, at Internet Solutions um, which, uh, with uh, uh, storage area networks, uh, which uh, also have uh, redundancy um, within that environment. And over and above that, we've got a disaster recovery site, which is hosted with uh, another service provider. So if uh, this primary environment fails, we can, within 40 minutes, shift to the 
uh, disaster recovery site and continue operations. Can you tell us which machine is about to make the next payout? We'll split it, we'll split it half half. Fortunately, nobody can tell you that. I mean, even the programmers of these machines can. Come on, yeah. I'll give you a thousand bucks. Just tell us we'll split the winnings together. I wouldn't be sitting here as a CEO if I knew that. <laughs> Because I would have made lots of money, especially in Vegas and so on. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> well, personally, I'm not a gambler, but if you are a gambler, I hope that this reassures you that your odds are a little bit better and your taxes are being paid thanks to Zonke monitoring systems. Excuse me. I've got to play a bit of casino, baby.